In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Good morning, Cardinal Leger Lancers. Well, today is June the 2nd, and uh, that's good news here in the province of Ontario. I think some or a few of the restrictions that we've been living under uh, because of the COVID-19 pandemic, they're being lifted today. And I think today, uh, one of the things we can do is uh, we can travel. Uh, a little bit further in our lives. Up until uh, today, the uh, we were told to stay home and to avoid all unnecessary travel. And that uh, restriction has been, uh, I think, lifted. And so we should hear over the next day or so how things are going to change. But in the meantime, let's continue to wear our masks and let's continue to be conscious of our family uh, bubble. And uh, let's just keep doing things uh, like good uh, Bramptonians, to try to uh, ease the pressure of our uh, health system, our hospitals, our nurses, our doctors, all of our frontline workers in industry and stores. Let's continue to help them. But the end is near. We can feel it and we can see it. Now, I just wanted to reflect for a second. The dust is starting to settle a little bit about that uh, really sad uh, loss of the Toronto Maple Leafs uh, to the Montreal Canadiens on Monday and rational heads are starting to uh, take over again. And I just wanted to reflect, you know, because in life, a lot of the things we do, there's competition. You know, if you're looking for a job, sometimes you have to go and uh, you're competing against lots of people who want the same job, or you're competing against people who want to get into the same program at college and university. And it can be really intimidating, right? Because, you know, you look at other people and you think, oh my goodness, uh, I can't compete with them. <laughs> they're, they're better than me. Look, at that person's got higher marks. This person's, uh, you know, more athletic than me. I can't run the 100 meter dash that fast. I can't jump that high. There's, there's no hope for me. And, you know, that's a, a natural thing, right? We look at our opponents and we think uh, we're inferior. And the Montreal Canadiens were the inferior team on paper. All of the hockey experts, all of them, predicted the Toronto Maple Leafs were going to win that hockey series. Some said four games, they were going to win in five, a few said six, but they were unanimous. Toronto on paper was the better team this year. And I think Toronto even won seven out of the ten times that the, the two teams played this regular season. So on paper, the Leafs were the powerhouse. But, you know, you can measure all kinds of things. You can measure, you know, goals scored. You can measure hits or basketball. You can measure points. But the thing you can't measure, you can't measure, it's really hard to measure, is the size of the heart. You know, if you have determination, if you have heart, if you have that extra intangible, you know, that will to win, that is what is important. Let's never forget that. And our faith, you know, one of the great stories in our faith is the story of David versus Goliath. And, you know, we know that little David uh, killed Goliath. And uh, David used uh, slingshot technology. We remember the story. But the, the, uh, Goliath was huge. He was a warrior, famous warrior. And little David was a shepherd boy. And then we know in our faith too, right, that, you know, Jesus died. And that's supposed to be the end of the story. and uh, But no, Jesus rose from the dead. And so uh, Jesus conquered uh, death. And so we, are, we should be inspired by uh, our faith. And always remember, right? Have heart. It's the size of the heart that matters. Don't be intimidated by your opponent, right? Because Lancers, we've got uh, that big, big heart. And then speaking of heart, tomorrow we're going to begin our novena, our nine-day novena to the Sacred Heart of Jesus. And the Feast of the Sacred Heart is next Friday on uh, June the 11th. And many of the novenas to the Sacred Heart, they start today on the 2nd. But our school board, we're starting a novena and we're going, to, we're going to pray the novena with all of our friends. I think most of the schools and our school board are going to do the nine-day novena. And uh, we have a wonderful novena that's been prepared by the Institute for Catholic Education, ICE. And we're going to start that tomorrow. And we're going to just unite ourselves to the Sacred Heart of Jesus. And uh, we're going to, every day we'll have an opportunity to make a, a prayer intention 
will be able to ask Jesus. And uh, we know that all good things, all grace comes from the heart of Jesus. And Jesus wants to know us, right? Not only intellectually, mind to mind. Jesus wants to know us heart to heart. And you know that uh, where our heart goes, our bodies and our actions follow, right? If you've ever been in love, you'll know that powerful feeling. And, you know, it's when you really love somebody, you never want to be away from them. You want to be with them. That's a great feeling. And that's the love that Jesus has for all of us. And his sacred heart suffered for us. His sacred heart was pierced for us. Uh, and God so loved us that God became human and dwelt among us just to show us how much he loved us. So we're going to start the nine-day novena tomorrow. So stay tuned and uh, let's all pray today and uh, on, on this day. And I'll ask you to pray for my mom. Today would have been her uh, 85th birthday if she was still alive. And uh, I'll pray for her. And if you have someone that maybe has passed away, uh, we'll pray for them as well. We'll keep them in our prayers. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And may the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. St. Kateri, Tekakwitha, and Cardinal Legier, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Stay safe, Lancers. We'll see you tomorrow.